Hello. People who watch this uh, a month or two from now, they're going to think that this is like my only sweater, but I've just made a lot of videos today because, um, you know, I'm just driving and, um, you know, I think that it's good for people to know if you're going to be full time, then you got to do stuff that's out of your way. A few years ago, you know, maybe 10 years ago when I was more part time and my income wasn't like you know, very important necessarily. Um, it was more fun money and holiday money and things like that. Then I would have just come home and probably rested, leisurely put stuff away. I mean, it would have taken me weeks and weeks and weeks, seriously, to do what I'm just doing in the last like eight hours. But now I understand how much you can accomplish if you're just disciplined and just you know, hit the ground running, get stuff put away, get it cleaned up. And of course my income is enough to be full time now, which it, it all, it wasn't for many, many, many years. So what I've done so far, oh, where'd my list go? I had a list guys. I did. Oh, here it is. I'm like, I promise, like I made this list so that, you know, we could get through this. Okay. So I restarted my coupons this morning at like five in the morning before I left Laramie. Normally I have a Monday to Monday promotion, a coupon, um, a markdown sale, and I just do it Monday to Monday. Monday's kind of a day off and I have it end about noon or one. So normally my normal Mondays are get all my, um, shipping done, come home, then I can slow down a little bit. Um, Monday is my husband's main day off. So um, normally I work really hard on other days and then Mondays I still usually have to list unless I can get enough listings done for Monday scheduled out. But um, anyway, my coupons end on Monday afternoon and then I relaunch all those. I have higher coupons or not higher coupons. I have higher markdown sales depending on how long I've had something. So if you've never done it, you just go to promotions um, or marketing is the first tab. Then you go to promotions. Then you can go set up a markdown sale based on the age of your inventory. And so that's what I do. So, um, but that had run out yesterday and I was on the road back from just Denver to even get to Wyoming. And then, you know, by the time I got back, I just had laundry everywhere and stuff. And I just thought, you know, I'll just get that done. I should have restarted my coupon last night, but I truly was doing other work. It's like, what, what comes first? Do you wash the laundry? Do you, you know, load the car? Like I had just so many choices. So the coupon got left behind, but it's fine. I actually had really good sales this morning. Once I started shipping that stuff out, um, eBay doesn't like it when you go from Thursday till Tuesday and your stuff is sitting there. Um, I think if I would have launched more listings, it would have kind of offset it. But, you know, even on a Monday, I did not ship my stuff. So, um, I got that done. And then my suitcase, if you watch my other videos by chance, you already know a little bit of this is a repeat, but I got my suitcase unpacked, cleaned up, put away, all my personal laundry is washed and put away in my dresser, and that makes me feel good. Um, I used to just not really do that. I just thought, well, I'll get to it, and then a week later, I still had not gotten to it because I was trying to list and stuff. So that is part of my process, and it is a true process. I have a process of how I pack to go, what I take to go, and I just kind of have that really refined in order to do this full time. Like, like I don't need it now, but just say for instance that I was out of inventory again and I heard another blizzard was coming. I could literally load my car with everything I need to work remotely or work in a hotel or work in Laramie where we have an apartment. I could literally just go through in my head and just have it in the car in 20 minutes. Um, and, uh, it does happen, you know, um, I try to not let it happen. And that's why today, 25% of what I got, if I can afford it now, if I didn't get enough items, I may have to list everything I have again, but if I can afford it, 25% of what I got is going away to be, um, like emergency stuff. And every week I'm trying to do that, especially now if I'm picking up shorts, if I need to list the shorts because I'm short of anything good, that's good to list. Like by Friday, I will list shorts now and they are selling already, but I really, 
my goal has always been to spend an extra 20 bucks at the bins every week, which, you know, I shouldn't miss if I just get started on it and just kiss it goodbye and don't even think about it. Um, you know, spend 20 extra bucks, um, a week to get 20 or 25 items that can just go in a bin that's well marked. And then like over this weekend that the occurrence that happened where I felt stressed, like, do I stay and my sales just aren't that good because I don't have enough to list for like six days or do I go and get stuck spending more money on hotels than I wanted to all at once and which do I do? And I just don't want to have that happen again. I think that I can prevent it. I think that this weather is very unusual. This does not happen that often where back to back to back there are storms. There are storms in Wyoming, but normally you get two or three days off. Then another big blizzard might come. And so during those two to three days, you just go get your groceries. You go get all the inventory you need. And then you come home and enjoy it. And it snows. And I've got a huge view of the mountain right out my two front windows in my office I have a huge view and it's just snowing and you're I'm just down here listening to podcasts and listening and watching the mountain and and you know it's wonderful it's a wonderful balance between being at home and um, driving and getting to a little bit bigger city so you don't feel kind of confined and you don't feel like you're going without like fun food or, or, you know, never seeing a movie. We have no movie theater here where I live. We have no bowling alley. We, I mean, there's a lot we don't have, but I work a lot anyway, so it's fine for me. I, I would not be bowling every week or going to movies every week, even if I lived in a big city. I just, I work and this is what I love doing. But, um, Anyway, this was excessive, these back-to-back -back storms. Um, there was some good, clear weather, but then, as you know, if you've been watching my videos, happened to have time. Um, you know, I've been coughing and had a pretty severe infection for two to three weeks. Then my husband got sick for a week. So if we do go back to the bins Friday, it's partly to pay for our trip. And we just want to go, like, have dinner where we both can taste our food and we're not you know, blowing our nose in the middle of the restaurant. Like, we seriously have not had any fun for weeks because we've both been sick off and on and then the crazy weather. So, we deserve it. I mean, you know, I mean, we love our work, both of us, you know, what we do. And so, it's not like we have to. But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Suitcase unpacked, clothes washed, groceries put away, sent all my offers. I tried... Um, you know, Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I tried to send all my offers, but I did notice that because I hadn't shipped on time and I had, you know, three day shipping. And then I, if you saw my um, shipping video, if you didn't, it's um, sometime today, you can go see it if you want to. I have two or three late orders because my inventory got trapped away from me. I couldn't take it to Denver because it would have been in my way. And then my husband couldn't ship it because it was like in between both places. And so none of us could ship it. And so I had a few late orders. I have enough volume that it should not affect me. I'm going to make sure I have a lot of volume this week. Um, if it does seem to drop me to where it would matter, like on my top rated seller, I would call and, and send them proof that like we had the blizzard of the century and there was a 50 car pile up. I would just talk to eBay. I would call the anchor support. Um, I do happen to, um, you know, know how to do that. And um, they, are very understanding. I never call. I never ask for favors. So I think I could, I think I could pull that off um, if I have to. I'm just hoping to just let it go and just list like I need to list, you know. Um, if I had had 50 or 60 orders going out today, I don't think the, I mean, two or three is still a high percentage, but if I had 150 orders going out this week, like sometimes I do, it wouldn't, it wouldn't affect me. So we'll see what happens. Um, Got the Roomba going. My husband helps keep the house clean when I'm gone. He does a very good job. But we haven't run our Roomba since um, we took the Christmas tree. Well, since we put the Christmas tree up, it just would get snagged on the Christmas um, thing underneath. And, and so I finally, I mean, we sweep and mop, but it's just all that little fine dog hair and cat hair and all that stuff that the Roomba really does good on. So I'm going to run it like three times. Normally I run it like two or three times a day. I run up, eat lunch, 
start my Roomba again, empty it, and, um, you know, that's what I do. So um, then I did shipping. So if you happen to want to see what I did sell over the five days, I'm blessed to have any orders at all, I think, with the way my life has been. I'm just thankful eBay gave me any recognition at all. So um, I think in the end it was 34 orders for about a little over $1,000. It's okay, but I am full-time, and a lot of that was shipping, and then a lot of that was consignment stuff that I sold with my son, and I only get half of that. So I think I probably conservatively I'm lucky if I if I get to keep like even four hundred dollars over the weekend which is okay but um when you're full-time you know I, I'm not working this hard 18 hours a day and at the bins and back and forth and putting miles on my car just for that kind of money that's not enough now I'll get paid pretty quickly for all the bras all the work I did this weekend it's gonna pan out um, it's fine but right now it doesn't feel too good <laughs> let me tell you um, I changed everything back to same day shipping I had three day shipping which ended up being four day shipping on some of those they they snuck through somehow so I changed myself back to same day shipping now after I'm done the things I'm gonna do tonight after we do this haul is I'm gonna wash what needs washed finish that up um, I'm gonna send out my newsletters I normally do that at least two to three times a week I go in and try to send newsletters to followers to um, any past customers um, all you got to do is go to manage my store you can google this manage my eBay store it'll pull up and then down the the side it'll say send out a newsletter and it does seem to be effective I only have like 350 people who follow me on eBay I don't have that many but it uh, they're pretty consistent customers I don't I don't get that many combined orders. I'm trying to, but I buy so many different things because of my um, problem just getting inventory here to, to Wyoming. So I don't always get what I wanted. I would have been totally content this weekend to come home with 50 pair of Nike pants in all different sizes. I could have listed those in literally a day because I just sell similar off my listings. If I could do, you know, the same boring thing um, I would do that. I just have trouble getting enough inventory, so I had to take what I could get at the bins, and it's all kinds of weird stuff, all different brands, things I've never seen before, and um, so that's it. The next thing I need to do is clean out my purse. I will try, probably not tonight, it's going to end up being tomorrow, to do my no spend, low spend videos. It's really important to me just to kind of track my own progress, and it's not going to be a good video because it's supposed to be a low spend, no spend, and that did not happen this weekend I you know overspent most of its business it's all deductible it's all gonna pan out because I was there working so it's fine but I certainly used my checkbook I used my business credit this weekend I am not happy I haven't used my business credit for like six months I am trying to build this business with cash and with just hard labor while I am still young that won't always be the case and you know I'm I'm gonna have to work into my retirement Retirement just because life happened to us but it's fine but um, man I used my business credit this weekend and I am not happy about it I literally had to take my discover card um, that I you know put personal expenses on like mileage and gas and food and then I reimburse myself out of the business um, but I literally had to unwrap it because I just keep it for emergencies and you know and and it has been at least six months I'll have to go back and look at my charges but you know from before but it's been at least six months so it made me very upset um then I'm gonna make the low spend no spend video and then I'm gonna do the scooching in the garage you know where you have um where you have your numbers like this and you know then you have a bunch of half empty boxes um, I'm not going to do this till like before Friday. This is before I can go again or whatever. And this is just to catch up. I can list more clothing because I have shelf space for my clothing. I have, I could list 200 items this week and not have to do the scooch thing. But with the hard goods, which I'm going to do a bunch of my sons, we'll probably do a separate haul video on the hard goods. I think it's just too much. It'll be like a three hour video and it just won't ever upload. I might even have to do like two or three separate haul videos I'll just put part one part two part three I don't like to do it I know you know I'm trying to keep 
everybody on track for what's interesting to them so that they can, you know, if they like shipping videos, maybe they don't like haul videos or maybe they don't want to see me driving in the mountains on a snowy day. And that's all fine. I mean, I get it. You can't, you know, dedicate your life to just watching everything. I listen to a lot of YouTubers. I listen to probably 15 hours a day of bolos, um, things like that. And it, I mean, I find the stuff. I truly do. I heard about Viori or whatever as a active wear brand. And I had never heard of it until like less than a month ago. And I found two pair of men's shorts already just because I was working and happened to see it. And I saw, you know, look for the V on the shorts. And I guess it's been there all this time. And I don't know where I've been. I don't know why it wouldn't interest me enough to have picked it up and looked it up. I don't know know if I was confusing it with something else but I'm sure it's been there and I was just like oh yeah I don't want those and you know probably giving up a lot of money so anyway I need to scooch the garage before I can do the hard goods and then I have about 15 things pulled of editing we need to edit more in this business a lot of this I need to decide why hasn't it sold and I need to take another huge group to the Goodwill if I'm going on Friday. And then I need to process all my consignment stuff. So part of what you're going to see as I'm going through this is that I picked up a ton of consignment stuff. That's why I have no idea what I got for eBay. It was, I need summer consignment stuff. I'm buying it ahead. It's like flimsy stuff that cost me 20 cents. So I am buying it now, spending an extra $10. And then in the summer, I'll get paid big time for that. Um, in the summer, all the college students in this community where I consign stuff, they leave. And they're some of the best consigners because they want money. So I don't know where they get their stuff. I don't know if they go to the bins. I don't know if they just have mom and dad's money and they just wear their shirt a couple times and then consign it and get more money. You know, I don't know where they do. But when I'm in there, there are some people who are like me. They're probably doing it to, like, resell. Um, and then they're, um, you know, my age and they're just taking their own clothes. There is a little bit of a following at that place for people my age, and my mom loves going, and she's 75. So there is some of that, but most of it is college students trying to make money, and they don't even go back and buy their clothes necessarily all the time. They take the 50 bucks a week that you're allowed to take, and it's like their way of making money. And um, for me, I leave my money in there 99% of the time because I want to go buy all that good stuff that they don't necessarily know every brand and I think they do cater more to the younger people so they're gonna know you know um what's hot in um like uh you know Aeropostale and and uh and some of that stuff they're not going to necessarily look up every older woman's brand and so I do they do know Eileen Fisher they do know some of it I don't know if they even know Viore I don't know I, I need to get there and start looking so anyway that has to be done I got to process this consignment um, when I was sick I missed three weeks of taking consignment stuff up there so that's a lot of money and what it does is that when my consignment account has three or four hundred dollars in it I can take a week or two off from going to Denver and I just go there and they have so much clothing they have so much they just truck it out and people can sign and sometimes you go and they say we can't take anymore like we are overwhelmed with all the consignment but the point of this whole thing is that in the summer I'm still consigning because I'm just faithfully taking shorts and stuff, but a lot of the people consigning are college students and they're back home for the summer from the University of Wyoming, so they're not even there. So I feel like if I can get some, you know, good quality shorts and stuff that I can make a lot of money in the summer, my my goal is to get keen shoes and sandals and nice stuff and have really nice shoes and sandals that are worth a little bit more and just have huge amounts of consignment ready to go they only take 25 items a week but there's a lot of weeks of the of the summer I don't I think they start taking it maybe in April I think they start taking summer so that's a huge window where I I need unlimited shorts unlimited like flimsy tops you know that cost me nothing and, and they put four or five dollars on them so I get half I get like 250 
So I just, I have so much I want to do, but so I got to work on this consignment. Okay, guys, let's get started. Um, I don't want to do more than like an hour for each video, maybe even 45 minutes, and then we'll call this part one. I'll label it very clearly, and then it may even take me two days. I mean, there is just stuff everywhere here, so let's just get started. Okay. So this is unwashed. So, oh, first let me show you how I do this. If you're processing bin stuff and you're like me, you need to get it done. You got to have a system. Okay, so this is my bucket, eBay washed. Now, normally I don't have this bucket because none of it's washed and I come straight home. But since I was stuck in Wyoming but still couldn't get to my house, I was at my mom's and at the apartment, and I just had the washing machines going at both places. So I got about four loads done at our apartment, and I got about, I want to say three or four done at my mom's. And so I just did that, but there's still a lot of unwashed and um, then there's a lot of washed. So anything that I'm going to sell on eBay that is washed goes in here. And then hopefully by tonight I have some clue how much eBay stuff I have. Um, you know, then I have my, my eBay unwashed because honestly it was just too cold. If it had not been so cold, I would have pulled up to my mom's house, unloaded the entire thing, sat there and visited with her or watched a movie and cut the tags off the things that have tags and, you know, wash laundry. And, but it was just too cold. I'm just like, forget this. Like it was bitter and icy and it just was kind of dangerous, um, you know, to just be doing it. So I didn't. Um, okay, then I have a bras that are washed and a bras that are unwashed because this is the first thing I need to get done by tomorrow is get this lady her, um, her box filled with all the bras she's going to buy from me and get that on its way to Maryland because that's where she lives. And she pays me usually the day it shows up, but I've got, I don't have that much money invested in the bras because they're so lightweight, but there's a lot of income in the bras. And so I want to get that on its way so that that can be happening while I'm listing, while I'm cleaning, while I'm going to get more at the bins. I can have this paycheck that comes. And last week I, I got like $177 for bras and I know I have a much bigger shipment this week. I don't know how much, but... Um, we'll find out. Okay. And then I have like summer consignment, winter or fall consignment, and um, spring consignment. I did not purposely buy any winter consignment. I actually need to be doing that because you see how my winter can, can go south on me. And I do not want to feel like I have to make bins trips for my consignment stuff in the middle of next winter. But that is an expensive endeavor to buy jeans now that I'm going to consign in eight months. So it's just kind of a financial thing to do it, whereas the summer is easy. You know, the summer's cheap and easy to buy all these little frilly, um, lightweight Lauren Conrad tops and e American Eagle tops and, and Lucky Brand and things that are a little bit too um common for me to put on ebay and a little bit too much work but yet they sell really great at this consignment store so these are my bins so i've got washed unwashed i've got consignment which some of the consignment i i may have to wash too so i need to I'll, once i figure out that it's summer i might just throw the whole bin in the washing machine but that's what i've done so here we go. So I'm going to be throwing stuff as I go because, you know, like I said, I love doing the videos. I love the comments that you guys like and, and everything, but I do got to work. So here we go. All right. So this is Columbia. It's a size medium and it's just a normal button down shirt. Now this place where I can sign I've said it before, they love themselves some Columbia. I guess that the college kids, um, you know, maybe it's having a resurgence. I know all the Goodwills I see have their Columbia marked up. That's why I can't buy it at a normal Goodwill. I've got to buy it at the bins. 
And um, I don't know. I still have trouble selling Columbia online. And I've talked to a couple resellers, some this weekend, and a guy that I know from Laramie. And he's like, I cannot move Columbia unless it's like some big substantial piece or some real colorful coat. It is just not worth picking up, even at the bins. But the consignment people right now, they love it. And they will literally probably put like $12 on this. And I paid at most like $1.50. And so then my share will be $6 minus what I did. So to me, that's worth it. That's like 4 or $5 in consignment credit. And the Columbia does seem to sell um, there. So this is going to go, this is, I'll probably take this right now. It's fall going into spring. So I'm going to put this in the fall consignment. I'm going to get that there this week. All right. This is a Delta Burke swimsuit. And I need to wash it. I can't remember if this was going to be eBay or consignment. I want to say that it, I want to say that they had like 50 active to 20 sold or something like that, which for the middle of winter, I think is actually means that this would be a pickup in a couple months. And um, it's just a really nice kind of bigger size um, swimsuit and I've looked in the important things and it's clean the bra is not stretched out and um, so I'm gonna probably go with this on eBay I'm really trying to um, keep my clothing really active in the summer whereas some summers I've had to just go straight to hard goods to keep my 10,000 a month coming in in the summer because it was just hard on you know cheap shorts even sandals aren't always really expensive if you don't get the right brands so I am trying to get on top of this now the problem is my stuff is selling so like I've listed a ton of shorts but my shorts are selling now maybe for March when people are going on cruises I don't know. So it is really hard to get a surplus of some of this stuff because it's selling. But yeah, this is just a nice swimsuit. I'm going to put that in the unwashed. Okay. What is this? This is called Unique Spectrum. I don't know anything about this brand. I don't know if I even bothered to look this up. So I'm going to put this in the eBay unwashed and I will look it up to see if I want to sell it on there. It This cost me, you know... 30 cents, 50 cents at the very most. It's a few ounces. And it's just a real cute, I don't know why I can't figure out the arms. Oh, I see the peepholes in the front. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? So anyway, it's just gorgeous. It's a real pretty shirt, kind of three quarter sleeve. And this will do really good at that consignment store if the brand isn't good on eBay. And I do not know. All right, what did I get here? This is all a surprise to me. I was at the bins for like, the entire time that they were open on Saturday and Sunday. I never left either day. And I was there to the very end. Um, okay, this is Lay Ami. I think that I um, might have showed you this. Now, I did a couple hauls of just a bag or two at a time. I'm going to try to not redo those. But it did get mixed in. I had a literal car full. And it was too cold to really like mark and keep things separate if it had been warmer i would have gotten bins and marked everything so you may be seeing a couple repeat things that i've already done a haul on um i i know most of it but this i think i don't know if i even showed you but this is just lightweight and frilly i don't think lay me is worth it so this is just gonna go in the um like the i don't know it's it's a fall color so I might go ahead and just take this to, to the consignment now. And um, I think based on the color, they might take it. Maybe I'll do spring. Let me put this in the spring. Okay. Oh, yeah. Actually, this is my consignment bag. Let me take that back out. Uh, <laughs> That's why, that's why I hate being so unorganized. This is a bag of stuff that I either pulled off eBay, which you would have seen if you watched one of my editing videos, or it's stuff that I already made a decision on is going to consignment. So there's some thrift in here and some consignment. I will, at another point, separate this out into the different consignment bins because I've got some summer shorts in here and stuff. But you've already either seen this or 
you know, it's just plain consignment that I bought a few weeks ago. So I'm going to put this over here. Um, okay. So this is the start of my bras. There's a bunch of bras in here. I'm not going to tell you the brand on every bra because I don't sell them on eBay. This is for my consignment customer. And I did get some really nice plus size bras, I guess you would call them. These are all washed. So I'm going to put these in the washed bra category. And that's how I process it for her. I don't shave her, um, sweater shaver the bra. She does that. I just throw them in the washer in those laundry bags. Or if I'm at the laundromat, I make sure that it's in the ones without the ringer in the middle. I do it in the, the washing machine that doesn't have the center thing and make sure that the underwire doesn't get broken or anything. And then I just throw them in the dryer. That's the extent of it. I use unscented on everything. And, um, so, and then I just pack them in those those things so I can kind of scrunch them down and try to get more, um, like dimension wise, get as much as I can in there. All right. Now this says washed, if you can see it. So I did this at my mom's. So, um, this is just, this is a little bag I got here. This is going to become my receipt bag in my purse. I love this thing. It's cute. I don't think it's worth money. I guess I better look it up first and make sure that I want to invest in this. But it's it's just cute. And when I, if you see my purse, if you end up having time and when I get it done, you'll see what I spent. I, you know, the receipts are all over my purse. They're like crammed down in there and I'm just in a hurry. And and if I have a system, then I do the system. It's just creating the systems. So now that I have declared this is my receipt bag, every receipt I have from now on will go in here. I'm very good at keeping with a system once I have one, but I've had no system. Um, you know, normally it's not a big deal. I, I shop a day or two gone and I'm not in this kind of frantic hurry. And so I just kind of come home and clean it up, but I've got five days of receipts, gas receipts, food receipts, just everything crammed down in, in my purse. And, uh, so anyway, so the rest of this is all washed bras. So I'm not going to go through it all. But look how many, um, look how many bras that I have for her. I'm going to check with her. I'm going to count these and package them up and tell her now I've got a hundred bras. Are you sure that, that you don't want to wait a few weeks for the rest? And that's fine. As long as she, like, um, she tells me like last time she's like, I liked everything you sent. Just get some more. And so I think that she has the cash flow to buy way ahead. And I think she also knows that I go weeks and weeks and weeks and can't get her anything because I either don't find it or I'm in a competition with the other bra ladies at the bands or I just um, don't get to go. Like I'm, I'm just fortunate that I chose to get stuck on that side and not here. Otherwise, it would have been two weeks since my last shipment to her. So she's getting two in a row. But anyway, that's just some of the bras that I've already washed. Okay, now this also says wash. So I did this at my mom's, and let me get the washed bras out. Most of this is bras, but I did throw in some colored items that are, you know, that went with the bras. Ugh. Let's see, we want to show that one. Bras, bras, and bras. Goodness. I think I'm going to need a second tub. I'm going to need a second tub for the wash bras. Maybe I'll just keep them in the trash bags. But I want to get out the other stuff that I washed with them. Okay, let me see. And I'm going to go in here and just like by habit, just as I'm packing it in the box, I just test the, the uh, what you call it again, the underwire... Okay, here's something. This is why I need to do three separate videos because um, this is like real life, unorganized. Okay, so I think all the rest of this is just washed bras. So, I mean, I am super happy with this. All right, so the other things I washed with the dark bras is, let's see what this thing is. Oh, yeah, this is marine layer. 
Um, I thought this was like a pickup or something. I thought that I'd heard that marine layer was really good. I'm going to relook it up. I was just, you know, had time and was vegging um, over the weekend like at my mom's and I looked it up and I didn't see where it was that fancy of a thing. So I'm going to put it in the eBay washed pile for now, but I am going to decide like if this isn't going to net me at least seven to ten dollars, I'm just going to give it to consignment like this week because I need some fall stuff, some or fall to spring where it's still really cold in Wyoming. And this would be really cute. It's it's, um you know, long sleeved, but really cute still. And so um if it's not going to net me very much, I'll just consign this. So this week, like on Friday. All right, come here, shirt. Okay, this is um, just Polo Ralph Lauren jeans. I guess maybe that's a little bit vintage. I don't know. I don't know if it is. But anyway, this is just a long sleeve shirt. I'm honestly, I haven't tested the buttons to see which side they're on. I'm honestly, I'm thinking this might be women's just because of the way the sleeve is. I'm pretty sure it is. But um, anyway, I'm going to put this in the eBay washed pile. I'll put like 15 to 20 on this and probably take 12 if someone offers it to me. And it's real lightweight. I paid very little. But I'm trying to get my store just crammed full of certain brands. And Ralph Lauren is one of them. So I'm happy with that pickup. Cost me nothing. All right. This is a new brand to me. This is called Woof. Maybe everybody else knew about it, and I'm the only one who doesn't. It's just some trunks, like some swim trunks. It's got the mesh lining. And um, so I believe that these are women's. I think when I looked it up, they've got the button front. Um, that these are like women's swim bottoms I guess now don't quote me maybe they're men's and I'm just you know I've, I've got so much stuff I couldn't think straight but um these are washed and ready to go and I believe these are women's swim bottoms which would be great you know I need to start wearing this I like a swimsuit but you know if it's trendy enough for me to basically wear like short shorts and then a top for swimming um you know, that's probably my preference. I would really like that look, I think, rather than just a traditional swimsuit. So these are cute. Um, I don't know what size these are. They're a large. I can't wear a large bottom that's too big. Now on top I need a large. So I would need like a small, especially with a stretch on this. So um, these won't fit me, but those are cute. Cute, cute. All right. This, there was another girl who had her hand on this and then she laid it back down in the same bin I was in and I just happened to see the zipper, you know, just see the zipper pull. Where is it here? Just happened to see the zipper pull. Maybe it was turned this way when she saw it, you know, this way because it has that on the back and I just was at the right place at the right time. I mean, I always look for Lululemon, but, um, but anyway, this is darling. This is, you know, I got to find the size dot. I don't even know. But um, it's probably in one of the pockets or something. But I don't even know what size it is. But I love this. And I've never had a pair of Lululemon or a thing of Lululemon. I don't know how convinced I am that I would like it any better than any other active wear. But um, it's really cute. Um, depending on if I can find the size or not. I would say it's like a medium to large. And I'm sure it's here. It's missing that normal strip tag. Um, I'm sure, oh, here's the dot here. I can see it. You see, you know, that's what you're looking for is to find that circle. So what do we got here, guys? We got a size eight, which I cannot wear an eight top if that's, and it probably is pretty slim fitting. And it doesn't have like the stuff around it, the numbers around the circle. So I know that means something that it's either older or newer. I don't, I'm not that good at Lululemon. I just do my best with each piece that I happen to find. I don't find it every day. So I don't, I need to go watch some videos on how to tell and I'll kind of get used to the patterns. Um, that's really what I want to do. Like, like Lily Pulitzer, I'm not an expert, but I mean, I can see that a mile away. Like it just, it just has a certain look and I've gotten good at, at spotting it. I actually found two pieces of Lily Pulitzer in the go back end of the bins, but the reason they put it back and the reason I ended up putting it back is because it was like a size double zero shorts. And then I want to say like a size zero dress. So, and if you look up the comps on those, um, I mean, they were beautiful pieces and they definitely were authentic and all that, but they just take forever to sell. So I just left them. I didn't, I didn't want to mess with it. 
Okay, now I know this is washed because I remember doing the um, tablecloth. So most of this is just more bras. So I'm gonna, um, it might fall out of my thing. I'm gonna keep those in there and take this out. Okay, and this entire bag is more bras. <coughs> And those are washed, so that makes that nice. Now I got this. This is a Vera tablecloth. And Vera anything, like Vera placemats, Vera whatever. It's a vintage brand. I don't know if there was a, a tag on this. I just recognize Vera, and I could tell that this was like um, vintage. So this is washed. I don't love doing sheets and tablecloths and linens because they're just hard to photo. But I just throw it over my normal background, take the best pictures I can. I used to worry about having the entire thing spread out. Now I just take pictures in sections. I take like one really nice photo of it um, folded up with as much of the pattern showing as I can. And then I just take the best um photos that I can but I honestly don't worry about it if I was worried about it like if it were really high end or something I could take it into my spare bedroom the pets are never allowed in there and because we just keep the door shut and I could just spread it out on the bed and really photo it if I was worried but um uh, I washed and dried this but anyway I'm gonna have to roller it off I don't see the tag right off hand I thought it had one but don't quote me Anyway, I looked up Vera tablecloths. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I don't think it's vintage. That's not a vintage tag. But anyway, I think I'm going to get 20 on this, and I don't know what I paid. Um, I probably paid 250 for that. So um, Then my lady does take slips um, that are USA made. You can't sell a regular. It's, it's so strange to me. You can't sell like a regular just women's slip, not you know, sexy or anything, but you just can't sell, like, this is just something that a professional woman might want under a sheer dress, and you can't unless it's USA made, so I believe that I did this right, so she likes USA made slips, and she'll pay me the same as she does on the bras, anyway, I've got to look that up, I was just grabbing stuff, and toward the end, um, I do not see anywhere that it's made. I'll have to look. Maybe this one will just go to consignment. So that's fine. I'm going to put this in the in the bra pile until I figure that out. Okay. Let's look. I think a lot of this was consignment, but don't quote me. Oh, I did my best to keep it straight, and I was doing real good. I had three bags open at the bins. There weren't a lot of people, so I had a whole wall, to, not a whole long wall, but a whole short wall to myself, and I was doing really good, and then who knows? Oh, yeah, this is just Columbia Pants, so this is consignment. These will do really well at that place I'm at. Um, they're really cute, so, you know, I may look them up real quick on eBay because they do have the lines down them in the, in the pocket stuff and I and there is some Columbia that is worth it on eBay but they're a size 10 they're not a fancy size they're not linen or anything they're just cotton polyester so I think I'm just going to consign these hopefully my share is seven or eight bucks and and they're nice wide legs so they're on trend right now and I would have paid um these are definitely priority so I would have paid two or 250 for these so I'm going to put these in the fall. I'm going to take those this week, I think. I think those would be good. All right. This is a Madewell denim shirt, but it's a pretty small size. It's a small, so I'm just going to consign this this week. I love Madewell in bigger sizes, and, you know, on the, on the jeans, if I can see the style name and look it up and it has decent turnover, then I will do it. But this is lightweight. This isn't even priority, so I, I would have paid under a dollar fifty on this and so I think they'll probably mark this I'm not I know that made well jeans get marked up I don't know what they'll do on this even if they put five I'll make a dollar on this and that's fine I if I could make a dollar on all this bin stuff and just take it to that consignment store and make a dollar an item I'd be rich man I would do that Oh, okay, I gotta cut this off. Where are my scissors now? Over here. Hold on, guys. Sorry. 
we're doing this in real time. Okay, so I'm going to cut the tags off and prep as I go because it just takes a second. And I don't want to forget and take this to the consignment. Got my trash can up there. All right. This is a Lauren Ralph Lauren. And if this were in a bigger size, I would sell this on eBay, and I think it would do real good. But it is a size small. and But I think that this is a really nice spring or summer. Um, it's not polka dot. It just has a nice pattern on it. But anyway, it costs me... 50 to 75 cents at the most and I think I can I think that they'll mark this up a little bit maybe six dollars maybe maybe not um, maybe this brand doesn't perform well for them but I think their base um, women's shirt is like 450 or something so if I paid under a dollar and my share is two or 250 then I'm still making a buck I'm gonna put that in spring instead of taking it now I think it'll you know, do better than, I don't know. Okay, this is Columbia PFG. Now, I mentioned in my other video that I have a guy who want, who is a friend of the bra lady who I send to Maryland. Um, they know each other, and she recommended me, and one of the things he likes is Columbia PFG. And I do okay on it. I don't know if he just does better because he's got a Florida store and, and you know, and on eBay. I don't know. I'm going to look this over and... Um, and decide this definitely needs wash first but um but either way my consignment place really likes it and then he kind of wants it so that's going to be the catch 22 he doesn't want any other columbia so probably if i can get enough for him and i want to get started with him so that he you know is interested but see i'm gonna have to soak it it's got some um ring on the collar so if it comes out pristine and it's clean i might start making him up a box if not, I will do my very best to make sure it's not dingy, but this will still sell at the consignment store. So I am going to put this. I don't really have a box for this. I'm going to throw this over here um, and just wash it first and then go from there to decide what to do. What to do, what to do. All right, this is a Rachel Roy dress. It's got the tags and it's cute. Um, Rachel Roy does okay on eBay, but the sell-through just wasn't there. It's a 2XL, though, and I thought, you know, this is a great, like, um, spring dress. But see, even though it's new at tag, see, there's like a pin there, so I don't know. Um, maybe someone tried it on or wore it for a short time. Let me take the pin out. and Or maybe there was another hang tag. Maybe it's not that someone put that on there. Maybe it was, um, I don't know. Let me see what that does when I take that out. I do not know why that was there, because here's the tag. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I'll look. Um, I don't know what fabric this thing is, but I'm going to consign it either way. I wasn't, you know, impressed enough with Rachel Roy as far as a flip, a flip on eBay. Well, now I can't find the fabric tag. Where are you? Hmm. That is interesting. The two pockets are kind of connected to. Maybe this has some condition issues. I'm going to consign it either way or get rid of it and donate it to the thrift. So I will look. Um, I was trying to see if this, it doesn't feel like linen, so I don't even know why I'm looking. It doesn't feel that way. Um, but anywho, I'm going to put it in the consignment and then I'll go back. I just, I saw new tags and I probably paid like $1.50 for this. And on their dresses, they, even on the cheaper brands that they consider cheaper, um, even on a used dress, they would put about six. And so I'm thinking new with tags, they would put eight or eight fifty. And if I paid a dollar something, I would get about four as a payout. So, but I definitely got to look this thing over. I'm going to, I don't think I'll donate this now. I think I'll do it when they start accepting spring. We're going on 48 minutes, guys. I'm going to stop here in a little bit. And I know we barely got anything done, but this is how, I mean, I don't want to try to upload a three-hour video. I will just do part one, part two. I'm still going to go like right back into doing it um, sometime today or tonight. And then, so just look for the other parts. This is just called Sunset and Earth. It's just real, you know, lightweight. I paid probably 50, 60 cents at the very most for this. And um, it's it's got long sleeves. And so going into spring, this is going to be perfect. 
Um, but it's a size small, and the brand, I don't think, performs that well. I might even take this this week. You know, it's still, it's not a cold, cold winter weather, but they have short sleeve shirts in this store all year round, too. So, um, that's a nice blue floral. You know, I think some people might want that. Okay, I got to cut the tags off of this thing. I got another new with tags thing, but I'm just going to take the Goodwill tag off. Trying to find it. I saw it. Okay. I'm going to make, I'm embarrassed to say, because I love to cook, we are having frozen pizza and green beans out of a can tonight. I am just done, and, you know, um, I'm going to get on my um, on my Zoom call that I listen to, and I'm going to work three or four more hours. I'm going to eat while I work, um, prepping all this stuff. And then um, about 9 o'clock, I don't care where I'm at, I'm going to go sit and prop my feet up and eat some chocolate, and I'm not kidding. So anyway, this is Solitaire. It's a really pretty belted dress, and um, I decided to consign it after looking it up in the, um, in the store, or in the uh, whatever. Um, it's, it's, is it a robe? I want to say maybe it was a robe. Um, anyway, let me put this in the eBay thing and double check. I, I'm pretty sure I kept my consignment, whatever, but... Let me just look and make sure that I think that 99% that that will go to consignment. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, th yeah, it is because because I looked up this bag. This is called Southern Frock. Now, in a bigger size, it's not awful. I think it gets some attention because of Southern, simply Southern or whatever. It's just a real pretty summery kind of dress. And so I'm going to... Um, Put this in the spring. I think that someone going on a cruise out of Wyoming or something will like this. Um, it just didn't have the sell through or the pricing on eBay to make it worth my time. So I'm going to go ahead and put this other solitaire dress. I'm going to take this this week. It's it's three quarter sleeves. It's you know substantial enough. This I'm going to put in the spring. I really started out well at the men's. Like I said, I had my three bags. I was really trying to keep stuff separate. And then toward the end, though, I have a few bags that I was just, like, sticking in there. Now, this is... What do we got here? Is this Altered State? I've seen so much Altered State. How do you do on Altered State? If you don't know what the tag is... I just... I don't know why, but I just see it everywhere. And, um... Anyway, I can't get it folded down. But anyway, it's altered state with an A-L-T-A-R-D, not altered like you would normally spell it out. But these are just really cute spring or summer kind of wide leg um, cropped. Um, and I don't think they're linen. They look like they could be linen. Like, a, you know, if I were going to list these on eBay, I would put that keyword, the, um, what is it? It's not beach core. It's um, seaside core or seacoast. Seacoast core. That's what this is. I would do that if I was going to list it. But they're 100% cotton. Um, I think maybe, I don't think I looked these up at the bins. I just saw, oh, they're altered state. I'm not going to sell them. But I don't even see the size on here. So that may be why I decided to consign them too. I still thought they were cute, but... Yeah, I'm not seeing my size. Let me see if it says down here. Nope. So these will be better consigned than trying to get them sold on eBay. But yeah, there's like a um um a trend of like um it's it's a certain aesthetic for women who like live on the beach and it's that kind of like way you would dress um with like coastal coastal core maybe it is seaside coastal core but anyway so if you see linen or you know something like that that aesthetic is doing really well i hear but yeah i'm just going to consign these i can't even find the size i think i'll do it um uh, i don't know if i should do spring or summer on these Choices, choices, choices. I guess I'll do spring. I guess I will. I'll try to take those in the spring. Okay. And yeah, um, this is called Peter Hahn. It looks like a really great vest. And so I grabbed this out of the bin. It, it's got, it's so soft. It is really nice. But it just didn't have a following. Um, it is, 
let's see. It's a European brand, so it has like Denmark, um, Great Britain, something, something. So um, I don't even know what the U.S. size is on this, but oh, maybe it's a 12. I don't know. But anyway, it's really pretty, um, but it just doesn't have a following. I'm going to take this now because I think that you would wear a shirt under this. It's heavy enough. I only paid probably two bucks um, around that, but I think it'll go now. Especially in Wyoming, anything with Sherpa or whatever, um, that'll go quick at that Wyoming consignment place. All right, what do we got here? This I just picked up for consignment for summer. It's just real cute. You know, this probably cost me like 60 cents or something like that. Um, this will do really well um, in the summer. So I'm going to save that for summer. Um, I, I still haven't learned what they want in Denver at the consignment stores. There are consignment stores where you can show up every day, kind of like, um, once upon a child. And as long as you're willing to wait in line, you can consign stuff every day. So I really want to get into that part of it where I go to the bins and then leave about four or five and then at least hit the consignment stores there if I can figure out what they like. I've got it printed off what they like, but right now you can tell if I get another consignment guy who wants a, a wide range of things from the bins and then I have my bra lady if she stays consistent at buying it and then I've got my own eBay business and then I've got this consignment store in Wyoming. That's a lot to just find in one day. Um, you know, so one, but once I stay more and the weather improves and, you know, I could justify like a three day trip if I could figure out what they want in Denver. Um, this is twine and string. Um, it's just a real cute summer top. Um, is it new? I'm feeling something. No, I don't think so. I guess not. Um, and my husband and I, we consider it a vacation. I mean, we work hard at the bins, but especially for him, I just have him get me a drink at noon, like go get me some ice and an iced tea. And, um, then he walks the dog in between and he reads his books in the hotel. And so it's great for both of us to just get out of town and I do what I love shopping and he will come help me. He helps me load. So that's all the help I need. I mean, that's amazing if that's all he does. Um, and so we consider it like a three-day holiday in Denver. And if we could get some consignment money, it's something he could do. I could prep it all and um, bring up the bags from, you know, the last thing, bring it up, tell him, you know, just put big pieces of paper on it, stapled to the trash bag. Hey, take this to this, you know, go see if they'll take it, get some cash and we can go have dinner. You know, that's my point. If we only get dinner money, like a, an extra 50, 60 bucks, Whenever we're in Denver doing some of these things, that's fine with us. I guess I have, you know, I, I guess I'm just easy to, easy to please. These are just little boy shorts. They're cute. Um, and uh, this stuff will sell. So I'm going to put this in the summer consignment. All right, this is another new with tags. It's just, it's called Cider. It doesn't really have that big of a following that I know of on eBay. Um rayon and polyester but it's just really cute i'm going to take this in the spring because it is long sleeved sorry my puppy's barking at somebody but anyway it's a prettier color than you're seeing it's not beige well it is beige it's a little darker beige but it's real cute so i'm going to take this in the spring all right so these i'm going to take right now because it's cold and somebody might buy them these are soulmate socks um they're just real cute. Life's too short for matching socks. So I guess that the whole point is that they just coordinate, but they don't match. And so, you know, you could just buy a bunch of stuff in their line, I guess. So those are really cute. Really, really, really cute. But I don't think that they're worth that much. So I'm going to, I'm going to get some consignment cash this week out of those. But you can see that like, I've got bags of bras. We haven't really gotten to too much eBay stuff. I've shown you like um, what, three or four things that I'm going to actually do on eBay out of all this stuff so far. So that's why I'm a little worried about what I actually have to list this week, but that's okay. I've got stuff from my son that I know is eBay. And so I'll get by, but, um, probably have to go again. All right. This is called Pink Republic. It's a really inexpensive brand. I'm sure that they'll put like $4 on this, but it, it's cute. And I paid 30, 40 cents. So that is going in the summer. 
All right, these are Hollister medium. I'm just trying to buy a lot of shorts for the consignment. Um, I don't, I can't get, maybe in the middle of summer, like in the very, very middle when people are desperate for shorts on eBay, I might be able to pull nine or $12 out of these, but I'm just gonna consign them. They they don't have a whole lot of shorts there now, and um, you know, let alone in the summer that, like I said, they're gonna want these. So I'm gonna put these in the summer. I could probably put them in the spring, but it's okay. I'm trying to have, you know, all ranges. And then same with these. These are just little boys shorts. And this cost me less than probably 30, 40 cents. So I really rely on that check. I mean, I could get by without it, but it really, like I said, in the winter and, um, and sometimes I go buy myself stuff, you know, I thrift a hundred hours a week sometimes, but I can't find myself. I'm very petite, you know, and clothing is hard for me. And then, like I've told you before, my husband is a nine and a half wide on his shoes. So once in a great while, we'll spend our consignment money to buy ourselves something. But most of the time I can find what we need at the bins. This is just Knox Rose. And I, I have I've been doing okay on Nux Rose, but this is a size small. I'm not going to try to eBay these. I'll just um, put these in the consignment for summer. All right, that bag there. Okay, guys. This is um. Let's see. Did I show you guys this? I hope not. This is and one. This is just shorts. I think actually maybe I did. This is just going to go to eBay. I sell these for like 12, but they flip pretty fast. I am thinking, let me look here. Oh yeah. I showed you guys this bag. This has the bodysuit. This has, um, um, trunks that I'm just going to consign. So I'm going to just give this. So I will separate that out after the video. Um, Let's pick a different bag. I don't want to make you sit and look through stuff you already saw. But I have some good stuff in there. Um, that is good. All right. So this one. I've got the tags here. We'll just do a little bit of this bag. It's going on over an hour, guys. And I want it to be able to upload for you tonight. And then I'm not going to, you know, um, list anything until... You know, I'm going to list this stuff first that we've already gone through because I love bin stuff. Now, this is another brand the guy said he would take, and I don't get a fortune for Untuck It shirts anymore. This is a size large, and I think actually this is linen. So if it's linen, I'll probably um, sell it on eBay rather than send it to him to sell on eBay. Um, we have no agreement, like I have not said, okay, I'll never pick up this brand again. I just told him I'll get him what I can. And so I don't want to make an agreement like that. I'm not a full-time sourcer for him. So this is an Untuck It Linen. I'm going to put it in my eBay pile. And, um, but see, it, it has some stains. So he's not going to want it unless I can get the stains out. So this needs washed, first of all. I'm going to put it in my wash pile in the eBay unwashed. And, and so I'll just see. I'll just play it by ear. I'll see if it really is stained. Now, I would sell this on eBay with the flaw. If this absolutely doesn't come out, if that's really the only stain is that edge wear, wherever it is, I would still sell this on eBay, but I, I don't think he would, and I wouldn't send it to him. So I'm going to put this in unwashed, and we'll see. All right. What we got here? What we got? Um, these are colorful koala. I'm just going to um, put these in the um, consignment. They're, they're cute. They're leggings. I think they have some following, but I think I was getting like $8 to $10. I'm not getting a whole lot for those. And I need 25 items by when I go again, when I go through, and I don't have it, so I need it. I have some hats and stuff that I pulled off of eBay, so I'm going to mix in some hats and stuff. Um... This is Melissa Page Petite. I honestly can't remember. I'm going to have to look this up if I decide. I thought I decided to keep it for eBay. It's really cute um, there, so I'm going to figure this out. Um, a lot of stuff I know by heart. A lot of stuff I knew it was a pickup, but now I can't remember. I don't think I would have picked this up to consign. There's, I mean, it's cute, but... I'm picking up really lightweight stuff to consign right now, unless it's something like Columbia that I know they want. So I believe this would be an eBay 
I don't see why I would have just said, oh, that's a good consignment item. So I'm thinking that this is, um, that this has some kind of following on eBay. So that's going to go in the eBay unwashed because this bag is not washed. So I actually put those other shorts back in the eBay unwashed. <coughs> I had initially thrown them in the, <coughs> in the washed. <coughs> okay. This I looked up and, um, this is an Eddie Bauer women's small. Um, the consignment place does like loves Columbia, but they're not huge on Eddie Bauer. And this was just a medium weight coat. <coughs> Sorry. See, it's the unwashed bin stuff that's getting me. <coughs> so anyway, um, these actually are like wind. they're not really windbreakers, but they kind of are like that. And these do okay on eBay. I think I can get like 18 bucks for this. So I paid probably two or two fifty, and I'm going to stick this on eBay. <coughs> okay, guys, a couple more. If I can make it through it, then it's it's over an hour. I'll let you have some relief. Now, um, these are Polo Ralph Lauren. I'm actually doing quite well on pants and shorts and stuff in the Polo Ralph Lauren. And these are really nice long cargo. I think these are, a, let's see, are they a 36? What are these? 34. And so I'll do well with these on eBay. I'm going to list these right away. I'm going to wash them and, you know, list shorts now. This is the kind of stuff that I'm willing to do. Um, so I'm going to get that going. My consignment guy said Polo Ralph Lauren and certain things, but I don't think he just wants plain shorts. Um, these are also Polo Ralph Lauren swim trunks. You know, I am totally seriously content with just Polo Ralph Lauren just because once you get your cell similars in there on any brand, whatever you pick, Eileen Fisher, any of it, I am happy just sending him other stuff and I will literally just list this stuff. So these need washed. I don't see any stains. Um, and I'll probably charge 15 to 18. I'll look them up. These are just cotton. I mean, there's nothing fancy about them. They're a size large, though. So, And i got to check the mesh. I do at the bins. I, I look down in there. Um, and So I'm just going to wash them anyway. They don't smell like they weren't washed, but you know how it is. And then here's a Banana Republic um, linen. Now, I do really well on linen shirts. So even though this is Banana Republic... It's a size medium, and it's called the Camden Standard Fit. I'm thinking um, that I looked this up, and I can get about 14 to 15. Now, I need to look up how you get the wrinkles out of linen, though, because I'm washing this stuff, and I do have a steamer, but I just hate using it, so I'm trying to see what I'm doing wrong. I know that um, there's some wrinkle sprays, but I don't know if they're okay on linen, and I'm not going to iron anything. If it's not worth a hundred bucks, I'm not ironing it truly. So I'm going to wash this and I'm going to try to figure out how, cause I've been selling a lot of linen. Now linen blends, I don't have as much trouble, but this is a hundred percent linen. And, um, so yeah. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go and upload this and then I'm going to get my 10 listed. Cause that's, I've got to get some stuff listed today. Um, I have no listings yesterday either. I was just on the road trying to get places and I didn't have anything washed to, to really list. I guess I could have photoed it and they wouldn't have known that I hadn't washed it yet and then go and wash it. Um, anyway, thanks for, um, you know, tuning in. If you don't mind subscribing or liking my videos, I sure appreciate it. I love the comments. Tell me if there's something I missed because believe me, I love that. Um, and then I'm going to get my listings up and then I'm going to take and list for my VA. So see, I didn't even find 30 eBay items yet. And, um, and I want to do a haul on my son's stuff. So we'll do, I'll have a second haul video. It might be really late tonight once I'm done getting my 10 up. Um, but then we'll do another one and I need to know what needs washed and what doesn't too. So I need to go through this stuff. So guys, thank you. You have a good day. Thanks for, um, you know, following. I really do appreciate it. Bye.